In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the free club management tools that are available with your free Toast Host account. Let's get started. In the first part of the video, link is over here. I have covered the basics of creating your club website using free Toast Host. Make sure you check that video in case you face any difficulties following this tutorial. Up to now, we have created the club website, we have defined all the club information. Now it is time to set up the club management tools. The first thing we need to do is to define our members. Click on the admin console. From this drop down, select membership management. Since this is a brand new website, we need to bring in our member information. The fastest way to do this is to go to Club Central and select the Club Roster. Here we have an option to download the membership list as an Excel file. Click on it. The file will be downloaded on your computer. Open it. The full Club Roster will be available to you as an Excel file, but we need only three pieces of information from here. The name, the email address and the phone number. I will delete all the columns and keep only those three columns. All I have to do now is to select this list with your mouse key and press Ctrl C to copy. Next, go to the admin console and we have an option here called Quick Add. Click on it and press Ctrl V to paste all the information here. Remove any educational prefixes like the DTM. For the phone number, make sure there are no spaces. And finally, click on the Save button. Due to privacy concerns, any member that you add to the website must opt in and accept the opt-in email that will be sent to them once I click on the close button. Click on the member list. We can see that all the members that I had copy pasted have been added as members but their names have been struck out and it will remain like that until the member accepts the opt-in mail that has gone to their email address. Since I am one of the members, let me check my email. I have received my email to accept the opt-in. All I have to do is click on this link and I get a confirmation message that I have been added to the website and I can interact with the website as a club member. Let me go back to the admin console. I can see that my name which was previously struck out is now appearing as a normal member. I can also see that one more member has already accepted the opt-in. Once members accept the opt-in, then we can do further actions on those members. For example, I want to assign myself as the VP Education and Shafiq who has just accepted the opt-in is our VP Public Relations. Let me assign the role to him. Click Save and Close. Once we add members and assign them the club officers roles, we can enable this link, the Contact Us form. Normally, we will assign this to the VP membership, but for this example, let me assign it to myself, the VP education. Go back to the admin console. Select the third option, email and contact forms. And choose who will accept the queries from this form. Let's say VP education. Click enabled. We will also assign Shafiq, VP public relations. Click on the save and close. Notice that the link contact us is now enabled. If anyone clicks on this link, he or she can fill in this form and the information will be mailed to both the contacts listed here. Alternatively, the phone numbers are also listed and the prospect can directly call these two contacts. The next major setup for managing the club is the meeting agendas. You can set up your future meetings using this tool. Let's create a new meeting for the coming week. Click on the plus sign and choose the date from the calendar. Let's set it for 7th August. The meeting starts at 10 a.m. We can set up our own club template. As of now, I don't have any templates defined. However, the system comes with two standard templates, one for a one hour meeting and one for a two hour meeting. Let me choose this one. It will ask me if it should set the default time to midnight let me say no, I want it at 10 a.m. Click Save. And just like that, I have a ready-made agenda. 
if there are some aspects of this agenda that is not applicable to your club for example let's say you don't have a jokes master and you want to limit yourself to three speeches instead of the four that have been defined here we can easily change this agenda click on this button to edit this agenda if i don't want the jokes master just click on delete i can edit this description to remove the jokes master click edit and remove this text click save similarly if i don't want the fourth speaker delete that line since i have chosen to go with only three speeches it means i have to remove the evaluator number four also we can also rearrange the sequence for example if you want the grammarian to go before the r counter all i have to do is click on this down arrow and you can see that the grammarian report will be before the r counter report once you're satisfied click on the save button and close it's a good idea to set up the agendas for the next two to three months so that members can sign up for their roles well in advance if we click on the club calendar move to the next month we can see that a meeting is scheduled on 7th august at 10 a.m you can click on it and it will open the agenda for that meeting i will now log out as the site admin and let me try to log in as a normal member of the club click on member login if your name has been added to the club roster and you have acknowledged the opt-in email you can enter that email id here the first time that you log in, don't enter any password, just click Authenticate Login. An email will be sent to you to set your password. Open the email and click on this link. Set your new password. It should be at least 10 characters in length. Click on the Set Password. Next, click on the Close button. You get a welcome message which asks you whether you want to load your member profile. Click Yes. The important settings in this page that you need to enable as a member are this option. If you enable this, your profile will be shown to the public. Next, click on your bio. Give a brief description about yourself. It's always a good idea to upload your photo. Click on upload your photo. Click save. If anybody clicks on this option, meet our members then all those members who have chosen to show their profile to the public will be listed here. As a member, we can look at the meeting agendas and we can sign up for roles. Click on meeting agendas. I can see that our next meeting is on August 7th and all the roles that are available are shown here. All I have to do is click on sign up. Let's say I want to take up the Toastmaster of the Day role. Click on sign up and it's done. All the other members will see that this role is taken up and they can take up the other roles. That makes your role as a VP Education hassle-free. When all the roles and speaking slots are taken up, generating an agenda is as simple as clicking on this print button. There are several templates available for printing. Choose the one that suits you. In the options, you can choose what should be included in the agenda for example if you want an agenda with the member photos click here click on ok to generate the agenda and you have a beautiful agenda that you can print or share it with the members or guests i have barely scratched the surface of the features that are available in this amazing tool feel free to explore and create an amazing website for your club if you like this video and you would like to see more content like this in future, please click on the subscribe button.